There are many clues that point to Ilnam being much more than he appears to be. However, the old man certainly knew how to keep his secrets until the last moment, the final game between him and Seong Gai Hun. <laughs> Prior to that, he was just a lovable old man whom Squid Game used to pull audiences' heartstrings. But on the second viewing of Squid Game, the clues about Ilnam's true identity become much more obvious. Yes. He is also known as Player 001, Ilnam's numeric designation means that he was the first player chosen for the game. While this fact is taken for granted at the start of Squid Game, it's slowly revealed throughout the series that the other 455 players are around the ages of 20 to 40. The fact that Ilnam is the first chosen player, despite being decades older than everyone else, was the first clue regarding his true identity. He wasn't targeted in Red Light, Green Light, in the first game of Red Light, Green Light, the robot designed to detect flinching Squid Game players didn't target Ilnam at all. While everyone else's Squid Game tracksuit had a green overlay, Ilnam and the player near him didn't have one at all. This could indicate that the robot was programmed to spare Ilnam, which also affected those near him as Squid Game's organizers couldn't risk harming their founder. He chooses the star shape in the Sugar Honeycomb game. The star shape is one of the easiest shapes to carve out of the honeycomb treat using a needle, and Ilnam chose this shape for himself. While the triangle shape is arguably easier to carve out, the star has even shorter lines and requires even less skill. Despite being old and slow, Ilnam easily carves out the star without using any tricks or special techniques. He stops the fighting in the dormitory room, when fighting breaks out in the dormitory room, every player was in danger and powerless to stop the fighting. But when Ilnam asks organizers to interfere, squid game workers and guards are immediately sent in by the front man to take back control of the room. While letting the fighting continue would be good for the games, front man had to interfere before Ilnam was in any real danger. His tug-of-war strategy was perfect, this is perhaps the most glaring clue that Ilnam is not as helpless as he seems. As revealed by Ilnam's strategy for winning against a much stronger team, he is practically a master of tug-of-war. While Ilnam's excuse of having played the game frequently as a child is believable, this actually reveals the extent to which he prepared for taking part in the games. His neighborhood was perfectly recreated in the marble game. How Ilnam described the neighborhood setting for the marble game was dismissed by many as the mere ramblings of an old man suffering from dementia. But as Squid Game's ending reveals, the setting was an accurate recreation of Ilnam's old home. This could have been the front man's way of making the marble game even more exciting for the founder of the games. Moreover, the geometric shapes on display in the house Ilnam identified as his home are the same shapes found on the Squid Game cards. And lastly, when the camera pans out to show the dead players after the marble game, Ilnam's corpse was nowhere to be found. He has no player file, this clue rushes by so quickly that very few viewers actually caught it. During episode 5 of Squid Game, police officer Huang Jun Ho, Wai Ha Jun, infiltrates the front man's inner sanctum and finds files on all the previous and current players. The massive archive of comprehensive files goes back decades, chronicling every single of one those who were unfortunate enough to be included in Squid Game's cast of doomed characters. But when Huang Jun Ho finds the folder for the current iteration of the games, the first page skips to Player 002. The file for Player 001 is nowhere to be found, as it is unnecessary. Apart from the fact that Ilnam was not a real player, having a file of him in the archives would be a liability, not just for the organization, but for Ilnam's VIP clients. He smiles throughout the death games, Ilnam's wide smile throughout the different death games the players are forced to play is reflective of his outlook on life, as he explained to Guy Hun. But during a second viewing of Squid Game, this smile takes on a more sinister context. Unlike every other player who is risking their life for the chance to win Squid Game's 45.6 billion Korean won prize, he's just there to have a bit of fun before he dies. Moreover, the fact that Ilnam used his brain tumor and impending death to justify flashing an authentic smile, as other players are eliminated around him, is quite telling of just what kind of person the Squid Game founder truly is.